think of all the forms of leverage, the best one in modern society, and people go, this is glib, this is overused, and this is why I tell people, learn to code. We have this idea that in the future, there's going to be these robots, and they're going to be doing everything. And that may be true, but I would say the majority of the robot revolution has already happened. The robots are already here, and there are way more robots than there are humans. It's just that we pack them in data centers for heat and efficiency reasons. Put them in servers, they're inside the computers. All the circuits, the robot mind inside that's doing all the work. And so every great software developer, for example, now has an army of robots working for him at nighttime while he or she sleeps. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. About halfway through it, we're just adding in much more of the hardware component these days. As we get more familiar, we get more comfortable with the idea of autonomous vehicles and autonomous airplanes and autonomous ships and autonomous trucks and delivery bots and Boston Dynamics and robots and all that. But robots who are doing web searching for you are already here. Cleaning up your video and audio are already here. Answering customer service queries that you would have had to call a human for are already here. An army of robots is already here. It's very cheaply available. The bottleneck is just figuring out intelligent and interesting things to do to them. So the robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. The robot army is already here. The robot revolution has already happened. You can order this army of robots around. Just the commands have to be issued in the language that they understand. So these robots aren't very smart. They have to be told very precisely what to do and how to do it. So coding is such a great superpower. <laughs> now you can speak the language of the robot army and you can tell them what to do. Now you can speak the language of the robot army and you can tell them what to do. Now you can speak the language of the robot army and you can tell them what to do.